you must have observed that the moon seems to change shape over the course of a month why it goes from a thin silver to a full round orb and back again it's all because of one simple fact the moon is constantly orbiting around the earth as the moon moves around the earth the amount of sunlight that it reflects back to us changes when the moon is between the earth and the sun the side facing us is mostly dark which is why we see a thin crescent or no moon at all this is known as the new moon phase and as the moon moves away from the sun and begins to orbit around the earth we start to see more and more of its illuminated side this is what causes the phases of the moon that we are familiar with first quarter waxing gibbous full moon waning gibbous third quarter and waning crescent and so as the moon continues its never ending journey around the earth it will keep changing its shape providing us with a constant reminder of the majesty and complexity of the universe we live in there is one more fascinating fact about the moon that makes it even more special did you know that the same side of the moon always faces the earth it's true even though the moon is constantly moving in its orbit the same side of the moon is always facing us while the other side the so called dark side is always facing away let's understand this with help of an activity one learner among you is going to be the moon and the rest of the group will represent people on earth standing together in the center of the circle facing outwards and all looking at the moon again the learner acting as the moon needs to put both arms out to the side look at the diagram opposite the learner acting as the moon should slowly and carefully walk in a circle around the earth stopping at positions a b c and d the learner should rotate slowly while doing this as shown in the diagram The group representing people on earth always see the same side of the moon regardless of the moon's movement around the earth. A lunar month is the period of time it takes for the moon to complete one cycle of its phases from new moon to new moon. The length of a lunar month is approximately 29.5 days which is the time it takes for the moon to orbit the earth once. The shape of the moon depends on the date of the lunar month because the illuminated portion of the moon that we see from earth changes as the moon orbits the earth. The phases of the moon are determined by the relative positions of the sun, earth and moon. At the beginning of the lunar month we see a new moon which appears as a dark circle in the sky because the side of the moon facing earth is not illuminated by the sun. As the moon moves in its orbit we gradually see more and more of the illuminated side until we see a full moon at the midpoint of the lunar month after the full moon the illuminated portion gradually decreases until we see another new moon at the end of the lunar month the exact appearance of the moon during each phase depends on the angle at which the sun's light hits the moon and the relative positions of the sun earth and moon and there you have it the moon's phases are caused by the relative positions of the earth sun and moon by understanding these phases we can better appreciate the beauty of the night sky don't forget to hit the bell icon keep exploring